Welcome once again. It's time for Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video, which hopefully you do find informative. And the book that I'm reviewing for you this time out is one you will very seriously consider purchasing. And the book is Flung Out of Space, inspired by the indecent adventures of Patricia Highsmith. This is written by Grace Ellis and Hannah Templer. It is published by Abrams Comic Arts and it retails for $31.99. Uh, this is a graphic novel um, uh, about the life of Patricia Highsmith. Uh, it's very well done. The artwork is most interesting and if you like graphic novels uh, that do tell a story. Uh, it basically looks at the life of Patricia Highsmith. Now uh, I, I had heard of her I was not sure who she was, but it was really fascinating to learn out to learn that she was the person uh, who wrote *Strangers on a Train*, that was later adapted by Alfred Hitchcock uh, for a classic movie that he directed. And um, Patricia Highsmith was a most controversial woman, uh, way ahead of her time, that some might say. Uh, this book is really set, uh, you know, toward the '40s, '50s and it looks at her life. Um, apparently, uh, Patricia Highsmith was um, anti-Semitic, she was a racist, she was sexist, and really it was just like she hated life. Um, this graphic adaptation of her life it is given a sort of noir feel to it. And um, what we find out about Patricia Highsmith, she's working at Timely Comics, she is churning out um, comic strips. She really hates her work. Um, there's no challenge to it. And, um, well, like I said, she hates life. She hates her work. There's not a lot that she likes. Uh, but she does like women. And she goes to a um, group therapy session where she meets other women. And she gets her, you know, attachment to them. Now, as well, we also find out that while she's working at Timely Comics, um, a very famous person makes an appearance there, Stan Lee, who later went on to, you know, be the guiding force behind Marvel Comics uh, in the 1960s. So, in the book, uh, Patricia Highsmith goes to um, a psychologist, and because um, she's gay, she's queer, and she wants conversion therapy. She wants to, you know, be back to, uh, I guess, liking men instead of women. But it really doesn't work. Uh, she's attracted to women. She goes to this bar. It's not a gay bar, but she sees another girl there, and it's almost like she hits on her. And the bartender basically tells them, you know, get out of here. It's not, it's not that kind of bar. So um, the book is, like I said, loosely based on her life. Now. Um, some things might be embellished here in the book, but it's really a fascinating look at her life and times. As noted, she was a complex woman, and um, she fell for another woman. Uh, she made it very clear that she liked women. Now, at the same time, she was writing a book, and it was one of the first um, lesbian, you know, fiction stories. Um, it, well, later became known as, well, actually first it was known as The Price of Salt, and she didn't want her name put on the book because she didn't want, you know, people to associate it with her and know that, you know, she was possibly gay, a lesbian. And uh, the, the book later, I think about 1990 or so, actually went by the name she wanted. It was called Carol. And um, Patricia Highsmith became a queer icon uh, she was loved by millions, respected by millions for, you know, being outspoken and doing what she wanted to do, not being, you know, forced to do by what society dictated. So the, the book is really a fascinating look. So if you like graphic novels, because graphic novels are very quick reading as, you know, opposed to uh, written uh, biographies and autobiographies. So it's definitely a book that you should seek out if you want to find out about the life of Patricia Highsmith. And um, I was quite impressed by what she wanted to do, what she accomplished. 
uh, the trials and tribulations she went through. Uh, she also had a cat that was a very important part of her life because at times it was like the cat was her only friend. So uh, if you'd like to read out about Patricia I. Smith, Flung Out of Space is a book that you should definitely read. So thank you for watching my video. Hopefully if you do agree with the review, you will let me know. Uh, so until we meet again, and we will very soon with another classic book, stay safe, stay sane, stay in touch, and I will see you at the bookstore. Bye for now.